What's going on everybody and welcome back to the latest episode of Combat Tips Season 3. As you can all see, today's video will be focusing on the Adenian Princess Kitana. Before we hop into all that though, I'm very happy to announce that we have our first sponsor and that is Manscaped. So feel free to check them out if you want to help support the channel and uh, see more videos coming in the future. Take a look. Has this been you? Hi, I'm Gnome Lord, and for this video, I've teamed up with Manscaped so that together, we can save your balls. But how are we gonna do that, you ask? Easy. With the all new Perfect Package 2.0 kit. This thing contains items like the Lawnmower 2.0, a manscaping trimmer with a powerful 6,000 RPM motor and skin safe technology. It's waterproof, cordless, and USB rechargeable. Not to mention, it gets up to 60 minutes of battery life on one charge, and it's approved by the TSA, making it perfect for in the shower or on the go. Trust me, boys, this thing is safe. It even comes with the old nick your sack, send it back guarantee. Other items include the Crop Cleanser Hair and Body Wash, so you can scrub away the worries of even the worst days. Crop Preserver Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant with active pH control, because, let's be honest, that'll always be a place that can use it. Crop Reviver, an all-natural body toner spray with ingredients like aloe vera to help soothe and refresh your skin whenever you need it most. And Foot Duster and Cologne, helping you always smell refined whether you're hanging out with friends or that special someone. And for a limited time, you can store all your goods in The Shed, a water-resistant travel bag making for the ultimate hygienic companion. Additionally, you'll snag a pair of Manscaped boxers featuring a comfortable elastic waistband and crop cooling technology, meaning no matter the occasion, your balls are ready. The Perfect Package 2.0 kit has over $137 worth of products for the price of $74.99. It also offers a hygiene plan letting you get a new replacement blade for your lawnmower once every three months. If you're interested and would like to support the channel, use my code GNOME20 to get 20% off and free shipping on your first Perfect Package 2.0 from Manscaped.com. Trust me, your balls will thank you. So there we have it, folks. That is Manscaped. Thank you guys very much for sponsoring this video. Again, I appreciate it. And for those of you watching, if you want to hop on down below and support the channel, remember, grab that code and get you some products. Moving on to the cosmetic screen folks, as you can see, as of this video's release date, there are 19 out of 19 finishers for Katana, which means today's video will be focusing on 9 different brutalities. Should any of the inputs I say in today's video not entirely make sense, you guys can use this little chart I threw together here, and that'll let you convert anything I say into another platform, pretty much any of the ones that currently host Mortal Kombat 11. As per usual folks, if you're here to learn a specific brutality, feel free to hop on down to the description below where you can find timestamps to help you get to any of the brutalities featured in today's video. As always folks, I'll be starting with the classic, and I'll see you there. Alrighty folks, starting off pretty simple today with the classic. Now the classic in itself requires that you do not block an attack during the final round, and the final round again, keep in mind, is your victorious round, so that can be round 2 or 3, whatever one you're going to win on, and then you want to make sure to finish the opponent themselves with an uppercut, which is down Y or down triangle, and make sure to hold either Y or triangle during that uppercut. Let's show you guys what that should look like. So once again guys, an uppercut, down Y or down triangle, very easy, should look just like that. So here we are on round two, guys, and just to clarify, the game says you cannot block an attack, but should you accidentally hit the block button, that's okay, don't worry about that, so long as you don't take damage while you do it, there should be no problem. Alright folks, so we're moving in for the final strike, one more reminder, you do not want to block any attacks on your final round, and again, this does not count as blocking so long as you don't take damage, 
and then you want to finish the opponent with an uppercut, which is either down Y or down triangle, and make sure to hold either Y or triangle during that uppercut. Let's go for it, folks. Pop. Simple enough, very easy. Most of y'all know how to do this, but like I said in the past, we want to learn it for one character, then you can just click one video, and there you have it. On to the next one, folks. Alrighty, folks, so this next brutality is called Sister's Strength. Now, this brutality will require you to have less than 30% of your health left before you go to perform that. So keep that in mind. It can be a little risky. And then you want to finish your opponent with a towards throw. And while you're doing that, you want to make sure you hold forward. So let's give you guys a quick example of what this should look like. As per usual, folks, there are two ways you can do a throw depending on your button preference. You can push L1 or the left button and you will get, obviously, a throw. Or you can push square and X at the same time or X and A at the same time and you will get, again, a throw. Now, in this case, we need to do a toward throw. So we want to be moving forwards while we go for that throw. And as you can see, the animation is different. It'll be going forward. So again, make sure you're moving towards your opponent when you go for the throw. Very simple. And again, you don't have to be walking like this or anything, but as long as you're right up against them and you push forward when you go for that throw, simple enough, folks. Alrighty, folks, so on the top left here, you can see I have less than 30% of my health, and one way you can easily gauge that just by looking is if you have a fatal blow, you already know you're lower than 30% of your health. However, should you maybe have already used it on a previous round, you can also just look up in this notch here. Below this, you're also below 30%. And again, if you turn on numbers and statistics in your options menu you can actually see we have 252 hp there so anywhere from 299 or lower and you're all set Alrighty, folks as you can see i've got less than 30 percent of my health here we're going in for that final strike which again has to come from a towards throw while holding forward with less than 30 percent of your health let's go for it guys Oof. oh very stylish not something I'd want to be on the receiving end of, I can definitely tell you that. That, uh, that gut stab right there is, oof. On to the next one, guys. Alrighty, folks, so this next brutality is called Deadly Lips, and it will require that you perform a mercy at some point during the match, and then you want to make sure your final hit itself, just like our last brutality, comes from a throw, but in this case, a back throw. So, let's go ahead and demonstrate that to you guys right now. Like I said, folks, just like our last brutality, we're using a throw here, and again, that's L1, left button, or square and X at the same time, or X and A if you're on the Xbox at the same time, and you'll simply get your throw. So long as you don't push in any direction, you will always do a back throw by default, but if you're not confident, you are welcome to hold backwards as well, and as you can see, that just further assures you get the back throw. Alright folks, so to quickly sum up a Mercy, it's essentially the ability to give your opponent back some health after you have beaten them to the finish him screen. Now, why would you do this? Sometimes you just want to humiliate your opponent further, but in cases like this, a brutality might require it. So how do we do it exactly? First off, we're going to want to get to about medium distance, which I'd say is about right here, but if you're not good at gauging it in combat, you can always get up against your opponent and do two back dashes, one, two, and you'll always land in about medium distance. Next up, we need to hold the flip stance button, which is going to either be L2 or left trigger, and you know it's working if your character does a little flip like so. So we're at medium distance, we're holding the flip stance button, and now we want to push down, down, down three times very quickly. Down, 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 down. Just like that. If you put it all together, get to medium distance, hold flip stance, down, down, down three times, and then let go of the flip stance button, your mercy should activate. Let's go ahead and give you guys a live demonstration. So here we go, guys, getting our opponent into the finish him screen. Easy enough. One, two, hold flip stance, down, 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 let go. And there we have it, folks. Easy enough. All right, everybody, so with that mercy out of the way, we can move in for our final strike here, which again has to come from a back throw. And in this case, we can simply tap L1 or left button. And as you can see here, there we have it. <laughs> this is a classic. Oh. <laughs> this is a really, really good example of how to take a classic fatality and still include it in the modern games because it's quick it's simple but it's awesome i love it it's a very good throwback if any of you have seen the classic games um you'll be very familiar with this uh animation in itself on to the next one folks 
All right, everybody, next up is the Throat Slit Brutality, and quite frankly, I doubt anyone's going to need help for this, but just in case, you want to make sure that your final hit comes from the next slice basic attack, and to do that, you literally just have to tap Y or Triangle. That's it. That's the only criteria. Just keep in mind, it does weak damage, so let me show you what this should look like. Here we are, folks. Again, all you have to do is tap Y or Triangle to get that next slice, and it should look just like that simple as can be and that's it folks there's no other criteria the only thing i would say is just keep in mind check the damage up there as you can see this does not do a lot so you're really gonna have to make sure your opponent is up at about a sliver of health to really make sure this works so let's show you what that should look like all right folks so here we are our opponent is just low enough again all you got to do is tap y or triangle on your respective controller no other criteria here we go <laughs> quick and right to the point i you know i i can't hate it you know what i'm saying nothing crazy of course but again it's it's super nice that at the very least if you can't get the criteria for any of the other brutalities you always got that to fall back on on to the next one Alrighty, folks so next up is the gutted brutality and this is a great example of going from zero to a hundred considering our last brutality simply required that we tap y or triangle this brutality requires that we perform a 12 hit combo a little intimidating but i'll show you the example that i use and again our final hit itself after you perform that combo has to come from the adenian dance let's hop right into it guys Alrighty folks, so right out of the gate, do note that I have my Fatal Blow ready. This is going to be crucial if you want to perform my particular combo. So, we're going to be starting off with a Royal Welcome, and that is back Y, A, and X, or back Triangle, X, and Square. And that should look a little something just like that, a nice four hit combo. So, after that, we're going to want to follow up with the Fan Lift, and that is down back Triangle, or down back Y, and that should look just as so. Keep in mind that you can actually replace Fan Lift with Fan Nato, but I don't really recommend it as it seems to break the combo for me at least very early. So just use Fan Lift if you can. All right, guys, so let's combine a Royal Welcome with Fan Lift, and that should look just like that. Now we're up to a nice five hit combo. So that is where our deadly game will come into play the Fatal Blow. Once the opponent is up in the air with that Fan Nato, like so, you're going to want to hit both back triggers and get popping. Let's put it all together now, folks. Royal Welcome, Fan Lift, and Deadly Game. It should look a little something just like this. Oof. Eight hits, nine hits, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So there you go. We even went over one. We got one extra just to be safe. Perfect, folks. We got our 12 hit combo. Now we can focus on the actual move we need to perform to perform this brutality itself. With our 12 hit combo out of the way, now all you really have to worry about is performing the Edenian dance combo to finish your opponent. And that is gonna be Y, X, Y, 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 or triangle, square, triangle, triangle, triangle. And it should look just like that, folks. Easy enough. Alrighty, folks, so moving in for that final strike. One more reminder, you have to perform a 12 hit combo at some point between rounds one, two, or three. And then you want to finish your opponent with the Adenian dance combo, which again is YX, YYY, or triangle, square, triangle, triangle, triangle. And it should look a little something just like this. Straight up gutted. <laughs> Very messy. Very much messy. I don't know. I don't, it's, it's, it's pretty okay. The thing is, it seems like a lot of work for a rather simple brutality, but... At the end of the day, I guess it's all about your skill and uh, what you find worth it. On to the next one, folks. Alrighty, everybody. So next up is the Punished Brutality. Now, in order to perform this one, you're going to want to make sure that you have less than 40% of your health left, and then you want your final hit to come from a square wave. Now, do keep in mind, this also works with the default air square wave, but if you prefer, you can add ground war to your arsenal, and that'll let you perform the square wave right from the ground itself. So, onto our brutality. Let's show you guys what it should look like. Alrighty, folks. So, as I said, normally you have the air square wave, which looks just like that. Back forward A or back forward X. However, you can also time that so when you're falling, you can still bop the opponent like so. 
Now, if this doesn't work for you, if you want it to be a little bit easier, like I said, add ground war to your arsenal, and you can actually square wave from a standing position, back forward A, back forward X, all the same, like so. Easy enough, folks. Alrighty, folks, as you can see, I have less than 40% of my health left, exactly 38% right now. So that means we are low enough to move in for our final hit. So again, you guys, make sure you have less than 40% of your health before you go for this brutality. Other than that, you just have to finish them with a square wave, and that is back forward A or back forward X, and it should look just like that. <laughs> I like this one. It's a pretty nice one. It's especially because you get to use such a uh, classic ability. I'm a big fan of it. It's nice and messy, but quick and stylish. On to the next one, folks. Alrighty, folks, so next up is the Wind Tunnel Brutality. Now, this one will require that you have the Fan NATO in your arsenal, so please make sure you have that set up if you want to perform it. As for the criteria, you're going to want to make sure that during the final round itself, that you actually land three Fan NATOs. After that, you just want to make sure your final hit itself comes from yet another Fan NATO, and you should be able to get this Brutality. Let me show you what that should look like. Alrighty, folks, so here we are, right in round two. We're going to go right for that final round criteria. Three fan nados, they have to connect, can't be blocked, can't miss. Down back Y, down back triangle. There's one. Here's two. And last but not least, here is three. Simple enough, folks. There's our criteria. Let's move in for that final strike. Alright, folks, so like I said, make sure you're on your final round when you go to land those three fan nados. They cannot miss, they have to hit. And so long as you hit those three, you can then go in for your final fourth fan nato on that opponent. And the results should give you <laughs> a little something like that. Very cool. I like this one. I don't know. It's so silly to like imagine that wins so small could do that, but I like it. Again, it's very stylish, nice and unique to Katana. I'm a big fan of brutalities that uh, have themes and relations to the character performing. So on to the next one, folks. Alrighty, folks, so next up is the Peeling Away Brutality. Now, this will require that you have less than 40% of your health left when you go to perform it, and the final hit itself has to come from the Leave Now combo. While you're doing that, make sure as well to hold forward, or this Brutality will not activate. Let's show you guys what this should look like. Alright, folks, so right out of the gate, let's start with the Leave Now combo, and that is forward Y, 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 or forward triangle, 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 and that should look... Just like that, folks. Easy enough. Alrighty, folks. As you can see, as the requirement is asked, I am below 40% of my health at exactly 37% right there. Now we just want to move in and finish our opponent with the leave now combo, which again is forward Y, 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 or forward triangle, 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 and make sure to hold forward during that combo. So let's go for it, guys. Oh. <laughs> This one's just so gross because it doesn't even seem to go through all the way, so you've just got this nasty little split monster-looking creature. On to the next one, folks. Okay, everybody, so last up for today is the Corn on the Cob Brutality. Now, this one will require that you have the Half Blood Stance ability, so please do make sure you've got that set up so you can perform this brutality. Now, as for the criteria, you're going to want to make sure to activate Half Blood Stance at least three times throughout the match. It does not have to actually connect, you just have to use it. And then you want to make sure your final hit itself comes from the Gutted ability, which is part of the Half Blood Stance. And I'll show you guys what that should look like right now. Now, once you have the Half Blood Stance set up, all you have to do to activate that is down back B or down back circle. And as you see, we get into our stance here. From there, you can transition into three different abilities. You have the Dive Kick, the Seeking Sigh, or the Gutted ability. So we'll go ahead and show you guys what uh, Half Blood Stance activated, and then you push A or X. And here we go, we have Half Blood Stance activated, and you push Y or Triangle. And then Half Blood Stance if you push X or Square. And there we go, guys. That is the Gutted ability right there. And just in demonstrating those, we have activated Half Blood Stance three times. Super easy, you guys. Again, down back circle or down back B, and there is our Half Blood Stance. Easy enough. Alrighty, folks, so let's move in 
for that final hit here. Again, all you have to do is activate the half blood stance three times throughout the match, and that is again down back B, down back circle. You don't even particularly have to attack with it so long as you activate it. And then from there, make sure to finish your opponent with the gutted ability, which is going to require you to push either square or X, depending on your respective controller, after you have activated the half blood stance. So let's go for it, guys. Activating half blood, going for gutted. Oh. oh, the sound effects on that one are super grimy. You can hear the, the cracking and crunching of the neck and the tendons as she pulls it off. Yee, very stylish though. And I don't know about you guys, but unfortunately we obviously couldn't have Melina in this game. But I think this is a good start, a good nice little uh, throwback to her, kind of in a similar way to how Jade was not in the last game, so Katana could also use some of her abilities. I kind of like how she can, you know, use a little bit of the sisterly love she's got there. But there we have it, folks. Let's move on to our final words for today. All right, folks. So as always, here we are at the end of our video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I know I say it all the time, but I truly mean it. So thank you. I The company is always appreciated. And I really do hope that these tutorials uh, help you guys out because they're a lot of fun for me to make. And to be honest, I really get to learn how a lot of these brutalities work myself in teaching you guys. So keep it coming. If you got requests, always feel free to lay them down in the comments below. Once again, a big shout out to Manscaped. Thank you all very much for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate you reaching out to me. It was really cool to be able to collaborate with one another. And the products themselves are all right up my alley when it comes to male hygiene. So thank you very much. As always, folks, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to reflect that either down below with a comment or with a like. And if you have any questions, concerns, or anything like that, feel free to also ask down below. If you want to see more content like this in the future, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can find out exactly when more videos like this go live. Once again, folks, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your company, and hopefully we'll see you on the next video. As always, stay safe and stay happy. Adios, folks.